Hey guys, it's CodeSellit, and I'm back with another video on Minecraft 1.13. Today we're looking at the execute command. Now this is the most powerful command in all of Minecraft, and so what I'm going to do is break it up into little videos. I'm going to give you bits and pieces of how to use this command, so that way if you already know the basics, you can skip ahead to the advanced stuff, and if you don't know anything, you can slowly build your way up to using this command to its full potential. So let's go ahead and jump in with the very basics of how to use the execute command in Minecraft 1.13. 1.13. So the very first thing that is important to understand about the execute command is exactly what it is. So many people are confused how to use the execute command in Minecraft because they don't understand the concept of what it actually is. And if you don't understand it, you're not going to be able to understand the syntax. So let's go ahead and jump in with a very basic understanding of what this command is. The command is exactly what it's named. It's a way to execute another command in Minecraft. In other words, this command allows you to run other Minecraft commands. Now, why in the world would you have a command that runs another command? So, for example, if you're going to execute the say command, why wouldn't you just type out say? Why wouldn't you just use the say command? Well, there are a million different answers to that question, but one is that sometimes you want to use that command only at certain times. And you also may want to automate the running of that command. You may want the say command to run every time something happens in your Minecraft world without you having to go ahead and type it out manually and then execute it yourself. This is why we use the execute command. It is super powerful because it allows us to run things in Minecraft automatically without us having to do it ourselves. We can specify when we want to run something, how we want to run it, and on whom or from whom we want to run it. So this is the execute command. To summarize it, it's a way to run another execute or another Minecraft command out there in the game. So check this out. Here's the name of the command. We're getting into the syntax now. The next thing we're getting is another option. And there are different options out there, but we're keeping this basic. We're pretty much saying we want to execute whatever command we're going to tell it as this player. And the player we've specified is the nearest player. And since we're running it, it's going to be ourselves. You could use any of the target uh, selectors here in Minecraft. So we're going to execute as ourselves. And when we execute it, we're going to run the command we're executing. So let's go ahead and give it a command. Let's keep it really simple and just say, we did it. So there we go. We just ran our first execute command. And what happened is we said, okay, Minecraft, we want to run a command. We want to execute a command in the game. And the command that we want to run is the say command. And we want to say, we did it. And when we run it, we want to execute it as the nearest player. We want to say that CodeZealot used the say command. This is the most basic usage of the execute command. So let's use another thing here and we'll get a little more interesting. Instead of using as, we can use at. And instead of saying, hey Minecraft, we want to run the command as if CodeZealot's running it, we're saying instead, hey Minecraft, we want to run a command at the position of CodeZealot. We want you, Minecraft, the game, to run a command for us. And when you do, we want you to use the location of the player that we specify. And that player is going to be CodeZealot. So now we're running a command at my location. So if we go ahead and type run, and then type out the command, and we'll go ahead and use the set block command since we've been using that in other videos, we're going to go ahead and just drop some stone on my location. So if we press enter, there we go. We ran the command. We executed the set block command. And when we did, we executed it at the location we specified, which was at the player CodeZealot. All right, guys, these are just two ways to use the basics of the execute command. So let's go ahead and stop here. And I'm going to jump in with one last example in this video. And then you guys can check out the more advanced videos that are coming out in the near future. Okay guys, so you may have been bored by the say and set block usages of this command, and that's because that is boring. So let's do something a little more interesting in this video, and this will kind of segue into the next video. We're going to get a little more complicated. So we're going to use the execute command, and we're going to use that at option, just like we looked at earlier. And we're going to use the location of every entity that is type player, which in other words means ourselves, since we're on a single player. If we were on multiplayer, this would target every single player 
on that map. Not a mob, get that right. It wouldn't be zombies, skeletons, and all those other things. It would be every entity that's a real player, a Minecraft player, all of us Steves out there. So we're going to be running this command, the particle command. And then we have the particles we want to use, which is Minecraft Flame, and then all of our settings for how those are going to display. So what we're going to do is turn this on, and we're going to see the power of the XQ command. So this command is now running in that command block. And as we fly around, we can see that that particle command is actually executing on our position. Wherever we go, those particles go with us because they are using us as the location for their execution. They're using our location as where we want those particles to appear. Now, this is really cool because you can make all kinds of stuff on a server. You can make like flaming halos and all that stuff or trails that follow your players. And it's really cool. You can make all of these nice features and then what you can do is get really complicated and you can use like the tag command and you can say, all right, we want to run these particles, but only on players who are tagged with a special tag called flaming halo or whatever. These are just some ideas, guys. Pretty much this is what we were doing earlier in the video, only a little more complex, just slightly. And I wanted to show you this because I want to show you how the very fundamentals, these basic things such as execute at or execute as have everything to do with these really long execute commands that you guys see all over the internet. So when you guys are trying to learn about the execute command and you type out something with a copy paste and it looks like this, you know, it just goes on and on and on and on. And there's all these numbers and all of these different words and it's just so overwhelming. I'm trying to show you guys now that it's all really simple. If you can get everything from this side of the command going left understood, then you can do anything on the right side of the command. Because if you understand how to set up all of the conditions that you want, then you'll be able to run anything you want in those conditions. So guys, thanks for watching this video. The next video is going to do stuff more like this command here, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So stay tuned. I'll see you guys there.